Hey, welcome back. This is Dan from Boojoo Productions. I went ahead and split my two videos in half. So this is going to be the second list. So the last one I did was a tier list for NFL quarterbacks I played in 2020. And then this video will be the tier list of what my prediction is of the NFL season for 2021. I have my tier list to 12 to 16 wins, 9 to 11, 7 to 8, 4 to 6, and 0 to 3 for all 32 NFL teams. All right, so we'll start off with from left to right, all the way down, go with the Cleveland Browns. Where do I believe they went or there should go? Last year, they were 11-5, but I felt like a lot of their wins were a fluke. The Cleveland Browns have been one of those teams that over the years of course have been really bad but then they got a ton of cap space and got a ton of what do you call superstars in uh, OBJ, Nick Chubb's pr Pro Bowl level. Uh, Baker Mayfield was really good last year. Actually OBJ wasn't even the best receiver he was hurt. You got Jarvis Landry and Richard Higgins. I don't believe they're gonna hit 11-5 they are still pretty good, but I don't see them being that great again. Next up is going to be the 49ers. The 49ers were really bad last year, but a lot of people are saying it was, it was because of the COVID. You know, their, their whole team was on either injured or COVID list. And it was crazy how turbulent it was. But they still ended up 6 and 10. And they shit talk on everybody in the NFC. Uh, they were like, oh, we went to the Super Bowl, but we lost it. But we're going to get back there next year. And they didn't. This year, it really depends on if they're going to upgrade Jimmy G. They have a great wide receiver core. Pretty good O-line. Pretty good defense. Super good defense. Therefore, they are also going to go to a 7-8. and eight. Next up is going to be the Patriots. The Patriots went 7-9, and nine, and it was the first time they did not get into the playoffs ever since, like, 2008, 7, 6, something like that. But yeah, no Tom Brady means no playoff. Uh, New England Patriots also had a lot of people to the COVID list prior to the season. Quarterback-wise, Cam Newton wasn't great. He didn't throw the ball. He always just kind of took it on himself, and I hated it. Uh... Their running backs weren't great. Their wide receivers, Julian Edelman, went down. So where should they go? Again, same thing for same thing as like the 49ers. If they're going to be a contender, they need to figure out their quarterback situation. So we'll go four to six wins. Uh, next up is going to be the Panthers. The Panthers went five and eleven. They need to figure out their quarterback as well. Teddy Bridgewater was not great their defense have been kind of stooping down more and more these years and their offense was just pitiful without Christian McCaffrey Christian McCaffrey is the quarterback for the Panthers at this point so if McCaffrey is not injured then they could be 7-8 team if he is and they don't have a quarterback and they keep Teddy Bridgewater I want to stick him back into the 4-6 and six win team Next up is going to be the Steelers. The Steelers were 12-4. and four. They won their AFC North division. Pittsburgh Steelers with Big Ben. They're going to be winning. No Big Ben. I might be a little sweaty. But with Big Ben, I'm going to go with 9-11. Next up is going to be the Vikings. The Vikings did not make the playoffs. Got 7-9. and nine. Quarterback's okay. Dalvin Cook's pretty good Not in if, as long as he's not injured. They've been pretty good. It's just like, are they able to take that next step? I believe they should be able to with a lot of the core coming back. Next up is the Seahawks. As uh, before, I am biased to the Seahawks. So what do I think about their team? I know, you know, they went 12-4. and four. They won the NFC West, but did lose in the wild card to the Rams. They are, are a ton of news and rumors that Russell Wilson's going to be traded it's not going to happen because his salary is at 39 million and to dead cap and also he has a no trade clause in his in his contract so Russell Wilson has to ask for that trade which I don't think he's going to do so because Russell Wilson's will be the quarterback but 
I believe they're gonna go like 11 and 5 next year, 10 and 6, something like that. So I believe they're gonna be like right there. Next up is the Kansas City Chiefs. A brutal loss in the Super Bowl, but they still went 14 and 2. And in that division and in that AFC conference and how the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be like for the next couple of uh, coming years, it's just so hard not to think that they're going to be another 13-3 and or 12-4 and type of team. Uh, next up is going to be the Lions. The Lions just got Jared Goff, I believe, and traded their quarterback, Matt Stafford. Goff over Stafford? Nope. The picks might help if they get another quarterback and then develop that quarterback in the next year but say 2021 I believe they're the team that might try to tank a little bit so I'm gonna go with the zero and three type of record uh, the Eagles <sighs> traded Carson Wentz to the Colts so they now have Jalen Hurts which I'm actually going to be interested in seeing how Jalen Hurts will do or they might get another quarterback I'm not sure but I hope they go with Jalen Hurts. Wide receivers need help as well. And therefore, since I don't know what's going to happen to them, they're going to go to 4-6. and six. The Dolphins have Tua Tagovailoa in their wing. Ryan Fitzpatrick was pretty good in the clutch at some moments. Tua does need to have some development. He was injured last year, so they almost made the playoffs at 10-6. and six. But, uh, man, the Dolphins were almost good. It was surprising i was rooting for them but i think they should take the next step but i think they're gonna stay in a seven and eight range if they have to figure out who their quarterback is as well as figure out who their running back is as well as figure out their wide receivers o-line d-line everything they need to upgrade everybody before they can jump next up is gonna be the saints again this is gonna be based on if drew Brees plays or not also what Michael Thomas was hurt, Alvin Kamara wasn't playing as the super great until at the end. The Saints did go 12-4, and and I believe they should go 9-11 as well. Next up is going to be the Texans. The Texans, keeping Deshaun Watson, makes them a great team, but they lost a ton of roster. Texans were just not good last year, even with Deshaun Watson. They were 4-12, and and I don't see any difference in their roster right now, so they're going back to 4-6. and Next up is going to be the Atlanta Falcons. They were also a promising team, but Julio Jones was hurt. Their running back with Todd Gurley didn't make sense. 4-12, and it was just pitiful with Atlanta Falcons. Their defense wasn't great at all, so they'll need to upgrade. Next up is going to be the Baltimore Ravens. They did come into the clutch and came back uh, after being like 8-5 and five at the end in the middle there, so they pulled up quite a bit of wins to get to 11-5 gone to the playoffs um but they were beaten out uh, there but still ravens were pretty good and i still believe the ravens should be good enough to go back to being about a 10 11 win team next up is going to be the tennessee titans the titans went 11-5 uh tying technically but still got the division through to through tiebreakers uh, Titans again, Derrick Henry, King Henry has been dominant. We've got Ryan Tannehill, he's a great quarterback. AJ Brown, I think that the other defense was pretty good. Um, so, are they another 11 5 team? I'm gonna go with 11 5 because I believe they're the best of the AFC South at this point. Next up is gonna be the Giants. The Giants went. 6 and 10. Oh man, the NFC East was awful. But uh so yeah, so I'm going to go with the Giants going uh, 4 and 6 again. Also, they need to figure out some stuff. Daniel Jones is not the best quarterback. Also, Saquon Barkley was out. Uh next up is going to be the Colts who have Carson Wentz, pretty good backfield with Jonathan Taylor. If they keep T.Y. Hilton, keep their O-line, O-line was okay. Their linebackers were really good. Darius Leonard is still a really good linebacker. But I believe the Titans are a little better than them, so I'm going to believe they're going to be 7-8, and eight, especially if Carson Wentz not sure what how he's going to play. Next up is going to be the Cardinals. The Cardinals with Kyler Murray. Not sure what they're doing with a running back. Great wide receiver core. Uh, not, not that great offensive line. 
their defense is going to be a little scary next year. Uh, but they should be more of that 9-11 team as well. Next up is going to be the Packers. Packers were really good. 13-3. and Should have went to the Super Bowl instead of the Buccaneers. And uh, they are going to go back into that 12-16 and as long as they re-sign Aaron Jones and uh, get better cornerbacks. Next up is going to be the Buccaneers. Tom Brady was just so good with the Buccaneers in the clutch in the playoffs. The Buccaneers, though, in the NFC South was 11-5. and um, Yeah, I believe they're going to be, again, a really good powerhouse. They're going to go back and be 9-11 as well. I think they're going to lose a couple games over to by the Packers or with the Saints as a good team as well. So we're going to see how that's going to work. Next up is going to be the Bears. Bears have a ton of quarterback issues. We're not sure what they're going to do. And I need to see more from them. Their defense is still pretty good, though. But I believe this may be the year that they kind of go downhill a little bit. Next up is the Bengals. Bengals were 4-11-1. and and but yeah, Joe Burrow got hurt. But even with Joe Burrow, he wasn't playing that great. They need to upgrade everything around Joe Burrow to become better. And this year will be in the same kind of rebuilding year. Buffalo Bills were 13 and three. They were pretty good. Josh Allen was great. Stefan Diggs was great for him. Their defense was solid. So if they can just muster up and do the same thing they did, I believe they will be a contender. Next up is gonna be the Jacksonville Jags. This one's going to be a little hard to predict because I believe they're going to pick up Trevor Lawrence in the first overall pick. And at the time, they were 1-15. They beat out the Jets in tanking to get Trevor Lawrence. And we're just not sure what it's going to do, what's going to happen. So, same like the Bengals. Bengals went 4-11. So, I think the Jags will go 4-6 four four wins and rebuild a little bit more uh, to get Trevor Lawrence up to speed. Next up is going to be the Washington football team. The Washington football team went 7-9. Huge, great defense with Chase Young. The Washington football team has a pretty good wide receiver in Terry McLaurin. Had a pretty okay running back group, but quarterback was their issue. If they're going to stick with Taylor Heineke, I'm going to be really worried for the Washington football team. They said they're also going to release Alex Smith. I'm not sure how that's going to be, but we're not sure what they're going to do. And defensive is the only thing that they're going to be win the team, then I'm going to put them back in that 4-6 and six range. Next up is the Cowboys. The Cowboys had high expectations, but basically provided the low uh, of results. They went 6-10, and 10, were solid the first couple of weeks high scoring but their defense is just awful um, and then the same thing in quarterback wise we're not sure if they're going to sign Dak Prescott or not or if they're going to you know go for somebody else but Ezekiel Elliott also had some, a down year uh, their, but their wide receivers got a ton of yards and I, I would expect that they do the same thing but yeah, we're not sure what's going to happen. I think they're going to go back into that 7-8 range. Next up is going to be the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos went 5-11. and uh, They really need to figure out what their quarterback is. I don't believe Drew Locke is the answer. Uh, but Denver also needs to figure out their defensive um, front. Von Miller, they're not sure what's going to happen to him. Uh their wide receivers are pretty young, but they need an experienced uh, quarterback. And in terms of running back, I don't know what they're going to do. So I think this is going to be another rebuild. It's going to be 0 and 3. Next up is going to be the Rams. The Rams, as said, traded for Matt Stafford. They are a dominant team. They, the NFC West is just going to be crazy good again. And uh, I believe the Rams will go 9 and 11 defense is so good uh their running back is going to be you know promising on a second year and their offensive line has been pretty good next up is going to be the chargers chargers went seven and nine 
with Justin Herbert uh, coming in after the first couple of weeks. I believe they should have started Justin Herbert over Tyre Taylor from day one. They may have gone to at least 9-7. I believe they need to figure out the running back again. Chargers should be okay. Get one seven and eight. And the last two teams here is going to be the New York Jets. New York Jets went two and fourteen. They sucked so much, yet they are not the number one overall pick, and they don't get Trevor Lawrence. So what are they going to do? Not exactly sure. Uh, the Jets though just need to rebuild so much, and they're going to go back into that zero and three. And lastly, it's going to be the Raiders. The Raiders went a Nate. They should have made the playoffs. They were running in, in as that type of team, but then they hit a huge wall. They have a pretty good uh, backfield. Jacob, Josh Jacobs was good. O-line's all right. Derek Carr was pretty good. Uh, defense was not good at all, though. So they need to fix that defense, and they might become again that 7-8 team. All right, so that is my list there. Uh, there you got some elite teams that I believe um, Some 9 and 11 teams that I think that will make the playoffs here Basically if you just kind of take a, this team here, that's the people who are gonna make the playoffs These are the people who might make the playoffs and then the people that will not make the playoffs So if any of these guys make the playoffs good for them. This is just a prediction but anyways if you guys like this video if you like to see more rankings or if you do i want to see a ranking of something else leave in a comment if you want to see a ranking with some of my friends we'll do one anyways i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video